Hello, this is Paylor Gaming, and welcome back to another episode of God of War Ragnarok. So last time, we were exploring this desert, looking for the the wounded animal that Atreus sensed. Somehow, that's a thing. There we go. On the return. Nice. in the way, brother. Can't read it. Yeah, I can see that. Um... Let's see. Let's start with the one that you're in front of. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Let's uh, go to our goals. Track that one. Look, there's a cave entrance. Cave entrance? This? Oh. All right. Sure. This cave extends underneath the desert. Is the creature within? Yeah. Sounds like it. We'll find it if we keep going. What is this place? A refuge for the Dark Elves, by the looks of it. One of the few remaining now that the bard from the temple. <sighs> Great. I got that. Yeah, 
Hold off on that for a second. Okay, yeah. We didn't have to fight them. They attack us. Well, this is their home. And considering what happened the last time we were in Alfarm, can you really blame them? No, I can't. Well, this is clearly to do with these. Oh, wait. Wait. Let's go up here first. Patience. A virtue or a threat? Depends on the reader. Patience. Found deep within a dark elf cave. They must use these as outposts to launch raids on the temple. A useful spot to watch their enemy and plan their next assault. So there were Oh 
don't think there was anything else over here. Maybe there was. Oh, hey. get you to pop out again so I can cautious Steel, shattered rune, stone wood, honed metal. now it's not always like that some animals are just i feel what they're feeling you know and whatever this thing is it's in a lot of pain i see why do you ask i am curious really i am capable of curiosity okay okay <laughs> <laughs> that's a sign of character development kratos <laughs> You can't throw your axe on this.
I think we gotta hit it from the other side. Yeah. My thoughts too, but I was. I see. I'm gonna have to catch that on the return. In order to do that, this needs to open, so we need to get to the other side. So, we continue our journey. Bats. Now, mm. what? We've just made. complete See if there's
Okay. Um, there was something else that was buried in sand, so that kind of tells me that one of our goals at some point is definitely going to be removing the sand. Don't ask me how you remove an entire desert's worth of sand, but... Oh my gosh. I really overcomplicated that one. I've never been this interested before. Can I talk to animals or enchanted rings or whatever? Much has changed for both of us. Well, yeah. I'm just trying to figure out why you'd help some random animal. Is this not what you want? No, no, it, it is. I'm just surprised it's what you want, too. One second. Somehow we have to... Okay. That was overcomplicating that one, too. Okay. Oh, no. 
Accidentally doing that. And forgetting about that. Okay. to abandon it but if we have to kill a bunch of dark elves to get there i remember a young lad who until this very moment would take on an army of draugr to save a wounded animal but these aren't undead draugr they're elves i just want to make sure we're not repeating the same mistakes getting involved where we shouldn't Or we... Uh-uh. <laughs> 
Yeah. I'm glad because Atreus was turning into a freaking psycho in the last game. These things smell awful. Let's go. Okay. Oh boy. No matter what we do in Alfarn, we wind up hurting Dark Elves. We are down here to help the creature you heard. I know that, but I'm usually the one who drags us around trying to rescue animals. Why do you care so much? Is there something you're not telling me? No. Okay. He's trying to be a better dad and care about the things his son cares about. There's something up there. Missing. It's 
if I produce those nightmares. Let's see if there were any crystals back here. Yeah, that should be... Bloody half you five ever laid eyes on. It's not just in pain. It's trying to sing. It's the song of the sands. They don't normally sing like this underground. Is that what's causing the storm? Aye. Judging by all this hive matter weighing it down, it's been trapped here for dozens of winters. Don't worry, Lynch. I'll get you out. What is that name? Well, the last good thing we saw was Diener, so. Oh boy, while I appreciate the attempt at humor, that little brother is truly awful wordplay. Embarrassing, really. Oh, well, can't all be winners. There's gotta be a way to clear those rocks. Get a better angle. Oh, hey. Get out. Much of the hive matter is gone. We can free it from the surface now. Why did they trap it down here? Hathkifers are known to burrow, so I'd hesitate to place full blame on our dark elf friends. But it's trapped in their hive stuff. Hive matter doesn't belong to the dark elves, any more than the light belongs to the light elves. It's just another of Alfheim's natural resources. One the elves have used since the time of their ancestors. And while the light elves seem keen to banish the hive over on their side, the dark elves make effective use of it out here in the barrens. So, by clearing out all of this hive, are we hurting dark elves? You wish to leave the creature enslaved? No. Then let us free it.
you're, well, trapped. I don't know that it's enslaved necessarily. Cut the half goof loose here. I think you're mispronouncing that. Either that or Mimir is. It flies? Of course it flies. It's a half goof. Sounds much happier now. And hey, the storm's gone. Aye, perhaps we'll finally earn some goodwill from our dark elf friends after all. Look, Father, thanks for bringing us out here, but you don't have to do this kind of stuff just to keep my mind off Ragnarok, you know? This was not a distraction. No? Then why are we really out here? Have you ever considered? He just wants to spend time with you, lad. While well, he still can. Really? We do not know what lies ahead. But if Ragnarok approaches, I wish to enjoy the time we have left. I... I don't know what to say. Thank you for bringing us out here. I'm glad we did this. As am I. Well, now we don't have the storm. So we should have a much easier time finding things. Mimir, wouldn't you prefer to face forward rather than backward? We already tried. There were issues with Viscera. Oh. And there was a brief bit where I thought I might get used to it. He did not. <laughs> Okay, so what's this? Looks like a lot of the sand is cleared up. But there's another storm out that way. I think that means... Another half goofa! Another thing we can't use. The chisel will not open this. Did the lighthouse put this lock here? Why would they care what happens in the barrens? A fair question. But until we find the right key, that poor half goofa will have to continue its solo act. Fair enough. Something I'm not sure I quite understand. In the Ragnarok prophecy Odin knows, all the realms get destroyed, including Asgard. In the version Groa kept secret, Asgard still falls. Wouldn't Odin have tried to prevent it either way? What difference did her lie really make? Enough. We will continue later. Okay. One. Sort of a harp. I can play beautifully, you know. I do not. I would prefer it remain that way. A miniature harp. Unplayable, of course. 
likely meant to reflect Freyr's musical skill. It's said that with a stringed instrument in his hand and a song on his lips, there was nothing he couldn't accomplish. No virgin too chaste, no warrior too wrathful. I'd like to imagine Freyr was smart enough not to resort to song and dance when it came to brokering peace between el the elves. That's what I'd like to imagine, anyway. Magic on them? The blood. Ah, yes. Carry on then. We already had that conversation though. Considering your question about whether Groa's deception made a difference, I think of it this way. When it comes to subverting prophecy, knowledge is power. Without the full picture and context, the finer details can lead you to tragically incorrect interpretations. Back in my homeland, I was privy to the operations of a certain coven of heath witches who were keen on destabilizing the government. They picked an influential thane an otherwise loyal man, and fed him a story of his own ascension to king. They dressed it up in enough details they knew would come to pass, so when they did, the Thane took it as confirmation. Next thing you know, he's helping matters along. He murders his king, sleeping under his own roof. Murders many he once called friends, too, thinking them fated to oppose him. Then, for a finishing touch, the witches revisit this usurper. With just a few details structured ever so misleadingly, they convinced the fool he was invulnerable to all threats. Physical, Physical or, or magical. magical. Aye, aye, but twas not so for him. All turned into a rather magnificent bloodbath as they go. The Thane ends up without his head and a name so cursed, none dare speak it. All thanks to a subtly deceptive prophecy. You've really got to write these stories down one day, Mimir. Well, I try. Jaw tends to get sore, but thank you, lad. Yeah. Thanks to the opposition's grotesque hypocrisy, Elfheim's Gulan are a threat to our livelihood. Though I have culled many on the surface, there are undoubtedly more down below in the Dark Elves' hovels. So long as we deny them access to our light, the pair at the desert's entrance shall remain the only docile version of those foul beasts. Let them remain. They will serve us as useful subjects for further light infusion experimentation. The Maven. That's fun. The shield holding up black. It's good. I always knew Sindri was a great blacksmith, but this magical shield, it just feels natural. The shield is well made, but it is you who wields it with skill. Thanks.
Father, you know I look like you. In what way? Like, bigger. When do I get muscles like yours? When you work for them. But Balder was really strong. And he didn't have any muscles. My strength does not come from my body. But both are honed by discipline. What's that mean? It means you've got the strength of a god no matter what, lad. But if you want the physique of one, you'd better start picking heavy things up and putting him back down. <sighs> I think I already got everything over here. He's got the strength of the god. We'll see. Oops. Okay. Well, I could have gone better. More bloody dropper. Okay. Oh 
Okay, I need to stop. Okay, I need to stop doing that. Uh, that's twice. For no reason. Okay. When the hateful is charged up, don't go attack it. Poor bloody dropper. Back up. Keep doing that. Come on. Oh, 
Why did I? That Draugr. Whatever. Reminds me of tales of a cruel empress. One too angry to die. We will see. Brother, I had a thought. What if we took a stealthy approach to our next battle? No. That's not really the style of this game. Chaos Spark. So we should be halfway to that Chaos Flame. We have three. Well, I feel like. Oh, never mind. What is this? I need new socks. What has happened? They're wet. <laughs> they will dry. You know, I just knew you were gonna say that. Then why did you ask? I'm really not sure. They will dry. Yeah, I'm sure they will. I'm not sure what that accomplished. I'm sure this has some purpose. Oh, that's just the ceiling. I feel like we've pretty much cleared out most of this area, except near the entrance. There is... Brother, in my travels, I heard of a great battle in your homeland, at a place called the Gates of Fire. The Hot Gates. You were there? No. Is that regret in your I did regret not dying there for many years, but no longer. Cool. Well, we did find Sindri. And, uh... I think that's just gonna be a matter of getting really lucky. Your axe is due for some attention. Yeah, 
It's do some attention do for some attention next time though. When we come back next time, we will upgrade our axe. We'll try to get that uh, raven, and then we will head back to Sindri's house, I guess, to discuss our next move. Anyway, until next time, see ya, and bye.